Hi, I'm a researcher of the computer graphics. Some of you say when you see an unrealistic photo or unrealistic scene in the movie, oh, it is kind of the computer graphics, that's fake. Or this girl, oh, it is very strange, it is must be photoshopped, or something like that. I'm a researcher of the computer graphics, so I'm very sophisticated with the Photoshop, and uh, look, look, it looks like handsome, and uh, it, it tells us the fact that computer graphics is uh, now approaching our daily lives. May, maybe all of you know the terms comp of computer graphics. And uh, I, I show you the next example. This scenery is um, automatically generated by the computer graphics. This is completely automatically generated by the computer graphics. And uh, it was uh, 20 years ago. Most of you don't believe. But uh, now you believe it. So the computer graphics technology has very, very grown up in the current 20 years. And uh, computer graphics has began in the 50 years ago, and almost 1963. And he was Ivor Sutherland who discovered computer graphics. And uh, computer graphics in expanding its area to the internet or the personal computer or pa such like a personal fabrication. Some of you know the such like a 3D printers. Well, you know, or you already know, computer graphics is uh, approaching this physical world. It is not. It is very, very related to the this physical world. That's, oh, and uh, my, what is my research area? My research area is uh, focusing how to control the real object. If it were in the computer graphics, we can pick up the mouse and click the feather and uh, bring it like this. But uh, in, in the real world, it's very difficult. Almost you know it's difficult just because of the gravity. And uh, but uh, I'm. For 40, uh, 50 years, computer researcher has been developed uh, many systems, and uh, it's time to come up to the real world. So I can show you the example. This is our system, just can levitate the things and uh, manipulate it in the 3D positions by the acoustic potential field. And uh, some of you say, oh, it's computer graphics. It's not. It's only happening in the uh, screen. But uh, I can show you a demo. And the thing is levitated and uh, animated by the computational potential field. And uh, it is almost free. Yes. Then, what is the application space of this technology? This is, can be applied to the, some kind of the factories. Of the, we can manipulate the, almost everything without a size limitation. Almost small things can levitate it in the air, and we can manipulate it like the computer graphics objects, so that we can float it uh, wood or matches or the electrical parts, like a screw or nut, or even we can set the plastic parts or the, some kind of the liquid. So it is very useful in the pharmacy or electrical production or some kind of that. Then, how can I realize it? Then we suggest a computational potential field. That is a potential field such like a electrical force or a magnetic field or acoustic field. The potential field is calculated by the computer, and uh, we can manipulate the real object by using the potential field. Then the, this acoustic levitation system is a one of the example of our concept. We generated a potential field in the air, so you can, you can see the real potential field by the dry eyes. And then, without the potential field, things will drop. But with potential field, it will be suspended like this. So it's kind of amazing. And uh, moreover, if the potential field moves, and uh, when you fabricate uh, some stars and uh, put it 
in the potential field, it's going to be shooting star. And uh, some, many digital kind of the fabricate object float in the air and manipulated by the potential field. And uh, almost uh, normally, digital fabricated object is a stable, a static object. But uh, we can manipulate and we can animate it in the real world. And uh, uh, moreover, we have a, a, a lot of applications, such as like textures. So the, in the computer graphics, uh, we can easily change the texture of the graphical model, such as like wood to the stone or something. But uh, in this world, it's very difficult, just because uh, texture is uh, some physical phenomenon occurs on the every surface. But uh, we vibrate a very thin film, that is a kind of soap bubbles, and uh, we can change its reflection of the screen using the potential field. So it's going to be realistic, and uh, it is kind of the things to reproduce the object appearance of the real world. And uh, moreover, uh, uh, you can ima imagine, imagine the haptic texture of the real world. So we, we can transform the real texture of such like a wood or metal or uh, papers by the potential field. Then we can change the real world texture to one to another, like this. So the, this laser is uh, feeling like uh, some kind of the paper or metal or something like that. And um, furthermore, we can deform the screen by the potential field. This can be applied to the, some kind of the computer interaction technologies. Then, more dynamically, we can change the distribution of the potential field. It can be used to generate the floating screen in the air by the physical materials. So uh, it can be used like uh, holograms on like that. And uh, it is kind of, uh, it looks like kind of the pixie dust of the Peter Pan, and uh, we call it a pixie dust. And uh, we have many applications of uh, computational potential field, such like a screen, or a moving animation, or like that. Then, my goal is uh, filling the gap between computer graphics and the real world. We ha for the 50 years, we are calculating the digital world, but uh, now it's time to realize the uh, physicalization of the computer graphics. So the, with the physicalization, we can see the beautiful wat butterfly in your ha hand, or the, you can see the levitated object in the air, or uh, you can realize uh, some kind of the pixie dust in the air. So this error is a uh, Century for the materialization of the physical uh, material, material. I'm sorry. <laughs> Physicalization of the computer graphics. It is a time to physicalize the computer graphics to the our real world. Thank you. <laughs>